you're in the smoky room, babe. You want a Burberry tank, some dark black pants. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Emily. And I'm Melissa. Stay tuned for weather, sports, and news. Now sing it off to a scarlet. Good morning, hot dogs. For the weather today, there will be a high of 44 and a low of 27. Don't expect the high to get any higher than that this week. It is currently 35 degrees, and later during lunch, it will be in the low 40s, and it will continue that way throughout the day. That's it for weather. Now back to studio with Emily and Alyssa. Thanks to Scarlett for lunch today on lines one and two, top and go Dorito taco, leftover chicken nuggets, and spicy chicken. Line three is closed, and line four, soup and salad bar with potato soup, and line five, Big Daddy Pizza. A happy birthday goes out to George Mendoza. Hope you have a great day. Now sending it over to Nolan with sports. Thanks, Emily. There will be a brief track call-out meeting today at 255 for the 800, 1600, and 3200 meter boy and girl runners and the uppercase arena bleachers to get information on training so you can get a head start on the season. And also, there will be a football meeting in Coach Byers' room, 123, during community. And last but not least, in results from last night's Lady Hot Dogs Varsity and Junior Varsity games, both teams ended up falling to West Lafayette, but they look to put their season back in the fashion they started on Friday at Western. That's it for Sports with Nolan, now back to the studio with Alyssa. Thanks, Nolan. Congratulations to the following students for placing first in the state for DECA virtual business competitions. In the categories, personal finance, Benita Lopez, sports, TJ Mooneyhan and Sam Wilson, and restaurant, Christian Lopez and Benita Lopez. Way to represent Frankfurt High School and Frankfurt DECA. There will be a lost and found table set up across from the bookstore in the main hallway today. Please stop by to see if anything belongs to you. If you lost jewelry or something valuable, please check with Mrs. Jamison as those items will not be sent out. Sophomores, do not forget to apply for Hobie by this Friday. Applications and an interview are required. If you have any questions regarding what Hobie is, feel free to talk to Riley Grasham. Also, there will be math help today after school in room 105 with Mr. Butler and in room 103 with Mr. Isles. Today's student council will be having a meeting during community in the collaboration space. Also, yearbooks are now selling for $25. Go out and purchase your yearbook. And before we go, we have a video with Dallas and Michael Colby about the unofficial video game club. So, Michael. Yep. Thank you for, thank you for your time today and coming to talk about the unofficial video game club. No problem. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, my first question is, if I were were to join this video gaming club, where would I need to go and what would I need to do? Uh, if you were want, wanted to come to the video game club, uh, that's unofficial of course, you would have to go to the library and sometimes we might not be in there due to like books and bagels or anything. So where would you go? Where would you go? Uh, I think usually we wouldn't go anywhere if, uh, if there was like books and bagels or anything so uh, if there's like books and bagels or anything, don't come to the library and so if you want to get in, uh, just uh, pop in and say hi or like ask or anything if you're interested. And if you like, if you're interested, just uh, stay and we'll like, if, there, if you bring your own console, if somebody forgets it, you can do that or anything. Or you, or you can just, um, or you can just basically just ask if you want to um, go, go, on, go on video game club. So my next question is, do you learn anything from these video games or anything that applies to real life? Uh, not really. It's just uh, basically, it's basically just a place to like to hang just, out, hang out, and have fun. Basically, that that does good for some students. Yeah, that does do good for some students, but not all students. But People that don't like video games, of course. Yeah. But there is some say that. I'm in the club too, but if how would I have to have fun if what in the video gaming club if the video games weren't as good as people say they were? Um, well, just ask somebody if they have the game that is is really fun to you. Because if they have that, then of course you'll be like, oh, I want to play that because it's one of my favorite games. So games like Mortal Kombat or Madden or... 
Yeah, basically any game that makes you like that entertains you, you can just ask if anybody has that and you can start playing with like friends or just by yourself. I understand this started last year. Do you mind telling me how you got involved with it? How I got involved with it? Well, one of my one of my friends, uh, Skyler uh, McGowan, he he had his uh, uh, his uh, classic uh, SNES uh, classic, and he brought it over to the lunch room and he put his projector up and started. We, me and him and his, one of his friends started playing it, and then he was like, "We should start this in the library." So after that, I started getting involved. You were there, Nathaniel, Ethan, basically the, where we are now. Basically, I just started playing the SNES Classic, and then I, I started getting bored with it, and then I moved over to where he's playing the Switch. Thank you for your time, Michael. No problem. And back to the studio. Well, that's all for the announcements. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to study for your finals. See you tomorrow, dogs.